a really essential component about genetics and about biology in general is the biological species concept, which is one way that biologists define when two individuals are members of the same species or of different species. So to define species, what biologists tend to do is ask, if you mate two different individuals and you look at their offspring, in this case, what we've done is we've mated a horse and a donkey and they produce what we know as a mule. The test of species identity is, is the offspring alive and fertile? And these two questions get at the basic definition of the biological species concept, which is that if two individuals are members of the same species, they will produce an individual offspring that is viable, that is, they survive development and are alive as an offspring. And also, those offspring have to be fertile, that is, they have to produce either sperm or eggs, depending on their sex, and be able to have kids of their own. If one or both of those are not true, then the two parents are defined to be from different species. In this case, we know that mules are not fertile, mules are sterile. And therefore, that defines the horse as one species and the donkey as a separate species. There are other species concepts or definitions that exist, but this is the one that most biologists are familiar with and tend to use except for in extreme cases like cases of organisms that don't have sex, like bacteria. Now, a huge concept in genetics and in biology in general is the question of why is the mule sterile? What is it about combinations of chromosomes that are inherited from the horse, for example, and the donkey? that when those are combined together at fertilization, something about that combination of chromosomes or genes is dysfunctional. It doesn't function properly together. They don't function properly together. And so one of the things that we're going to look at in class is how to identify what genes, or at least what chromosomes or which parts of chromosomes contain the genes that cause two parents with the same chromosomes or very slightly different versions of the same chromosomes to produce offspring that are either dead or infertile or at least less healthy than the parents.